Hi guys. One of the things that we're going to talk about today is uh, one of the things that's very important to make an engine run, and that is ignition systems. Any ignition, whether it's a modern engine or whether it's an antique engine such as this one, uses an ignition system of some sort to ignite the fuel in the cylinder. This is, of course, then a gasoline engine. I'm going to reach out here and press the stop button. And as I press that stop button, the engine will come to a stop. And what we're going to look at here today is this little black box that I pressed the button on. That is the magneto. With the magneto, inside this black box, there are two large coils on each side. Two large coils that are essentially wrapped around steel or iron posts. On the bottom, there is a horseshoe magnet that is pulled down away from those coils at the correct time in the engine stroke by this little arm here moving. You can see that arm moves and pulls that off. There it clicks there for you. Every time that clicks, it's making a spark. What's happening? Every ignition system has a couple key components something to actuate the ignition system as this lever does here going down onto this these springs you can thread this in or out on the governor that is the second part of an ignition system first part being the actuator the second part being a timing adjustment which is here the third part being the finishing end of the ignition which is the wire coming out to the spark plug here and you'll find that on anything uh, whether it's an old engine like this or if we spin around here real quick, we have another little engine right here. On this engine, our ignition runs off of a magnet that is inside this flywheel. And the pickups for that magnet are here. This coil feels, uh, picks up the field that is generated by that magnet spinning very quickly. And right here in this little black section beside here is the little, uh, a little button. It looks like a guitar pickup, an electric guitar pickup. And that is uh, the new modern equivalent, instead of points and condenser, for an ignition coil. So this coil here, again, here's our wire coming off. It goes up and onto the spark plug. So, so that's our ignition setup for this type of engine. Uh, your ignition setup on a car, once again, very similar. Let's go take a look. Let's go pop the hood on the old van here. When we look under the hood of the van, where we're going to be looking today, try to get us a good angle here. Right here is our ignition module. Here's our spark plug wires here. And this ignition module is run by the computer. Here's our power input here to the ignition module. Here's the wires coming off and down to our spark plugs. The ignition system uh, on some older cars will have uh, a wire running into the center of a round distributor and that's actually a mechanical distributor which distributes the spark around in a circular pattern uh, by a mechanical movement of a wiper and those are a little bit more finicky than these new uh, electronic ignitions but in everything you're going to have a supply you're going to have a line to transmit the ignition to the plug and you're going to have something to control it here it's controlled by computer on the old engine it's controlled mechanically by this rod moving back and forth tripping this actuator here which trips the magneto sending the spark down the wire Essentially, they're pretty basic. You've got uh, several things uh, between the magneto generating a field, timing it so that it's timed correctly, and uh, then conducting it through a wire and across a spark plug. Mind you, this is really mainly for gasoline engines. With this little trip lever pulled out of line of this spring, it means that this plate is not quite as thick when this is pulled up. With this pushed down, the spring pushes this first, before the plate, which means that it's this much thicker. When I pull this out, this happens later in the cycle, thus retarding the spark on this engine. 
If I were to roll this engine over, which I'm going to do here just by going this direction, and we're going to go back to where it's normally going to spark. Okay, here comes compression. When this engine's ready to come up on compression with the spark retarded and that lever pulled out as it is, that's the retarded spark position, I'm going to go ahead and give you a good look at where it actually sparks. It actually is going to spark after top dead center. I'm going to move it along real easy here for you so you can get an idea for when it sparks. There it's coming past top dead center. There's our spark. Now we're going to come down and we're going to, first off, we're going to roll this engine backward so that we can swing this in line. And we're going to swing our advanced retard in line. And now our timing, because as I said, this is our, our timing adjustment here, this bar, and this is our advanced retard. This would be a master timing adjustment here. Our timing now, that's the advanced position, and as we roll the engine forward, you'll see that the spark, when it clicks, will actually be before or right on right about top dead center. Clicked a little bit earlier. Now the reason it clicks earlier is because as this engine speeds up, you have to start the explosion, as any engine speeds up, you have to start the explosion earlier because the gases are not fully combusted by the time the piston comes past top dead center and is ready to receive power in a rotational force. So we actually start the explosion here as the piston comes around, the gases begin to burn, they produce their maximum power, and then shove this back. When the engine's running slowly, if we start that explosion, where we would normally start it when it's running very quickly, if we were to start that explosion before top dead center, such as here, it would want to run the other direction. So we have to start the explosion in the retarded position, which is past top dead center. That's why these old engines have those mechanical adjustments on them for, uh, for some manual adjustment. Uh, we're going to look forward to another video here on carburation and fuel, which is coming up shortly. Uh, this is Ignition Systems. Please post your uh, questions and comments. Just a brief overview. If there's anything uh, that you have a question about, uh, I'd love to be able to try to answer it. Thanks, guys.